Hello and welcome to Watch Me Fail, a show about perseverance. If you notice those statistics, for every 2% of the game I've finished, I've died over 100 times. Here we are in the salt factory where I've been stuck for a couple of weeks. And our good buddy Brownie. Super Meat Boy's bosses can be a little random. This one is not random at all. This is just strictly trial and error, high speed platforming. It is a race. I've done it before. I did this on the Xbox. I didn't even think anything of it. I just ran right through it. I think it was just sort of a beginner's luck, or I just been I just woke up some something like that. But uh, anyway, this is Brownie. Been having some trouble. Oh jeez, he's a shit monster. Spoilers. Obligatory. Anyway. Here we go. Beat Brownie to wherever. Wherever the fuck we were. We're racing through the salt factory. I had quite a significant amount of trouble with the salt factory, but I've noticed this is one of those things where if you practice, you do tend to improve. And the kind of horrible masochistic practicing I do uh, is conducive to a little bit more success. Like, what the f How the fuck? Plop, 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 right? Okay, I just blaze right through it. Because I remember th this part, sure. Okay? And we hit this. Really? Okay. Well. Gonna... You'll note there's a pretty consistent problem with the jump off of this wall right here. That first, that first jump to the right from that wall. Uh, the button doesn't work about 33% of the time, so... Lots of falls in that first, uh... Jesus. Anyway, right here. That keeps happening. I don't know. It's probably just my controller. I'm putting, pushing too many buttons at once. I don't know. Uh, just keep trying. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I've only recently even remotely gotten the concept of the quick wall jumping, which apparently helps you a lot with the levels I've already finished. Let's see, okay. And if you if you don't get on there the first jump from the platform immediately to the left, you have to slide down about five blocks and then hit it right in the right right on the spot. Boom, boom, boom. This little, ugh, man, tension. All right, you have to jump from that platform right there, the three wide. You can, you, you can do it from here, but it's bullshit. Obviously. Okay. Mm. Uh. Bamp, bamp, uh. And then see, I'm starting to get that right there. That is the way to do it. I didn't jump. I didn't run. I jumped fast enough. Because if you, uh, that's the problem with jumping up from the the wall with the hole in it. Because you run out of time on the salt creep. Uh, I'm impressed with that. That those four jumps, those hops. I it, I didn't. Didn't have to practice that part. It was just natural. There we go. That's proper way. We've made it through. Easy going from here. No big deal. It's easy. It's free from this point. Oh. Oh. Well, where the fuck did that come from? That took four minutes. Watch how long it takes for that to happen again. Here's a hint. It takes a long fucking time. A little bit of hesitation there. Starting to creep through. Such a battle between, like, patience and accuracy and efficiency, especially with a time... Well, it's not really a time-based... Ugh. Not a time-based thing, but it is a race. I mean, the only reason it doesn't look like he always gets the lead is because I've done this a million times, and if you don't 
do that first level, that first platform, to like just go, just poosh, he just gets ahead. But he does fall behind at the end either way, so it's usually not too bad. The race part isn't what matters. It's doing it and doing it quickly. Just well, just quickly enough. That's the one. But see, even even with the compensated jump, the second the second hop off of that, it doesn't work. It's too slow. Oof. I've this is I've that's got to be I believe the most efficient way to uh, approach the first level. This is obviously how you do this level. Uh, run, run straight for this part. Uh, uh, it, oof, skip that guy over. If you can get up onto that third one, as I or this three wide is ideal, because of that. Bam. All right, it happened again, but oh fuck you. Never mind. Uh, okay. Ugh. <laughs> no, that is incorrect. And. Okay. No. Ah. Getting loose. I don't know why that first jump gives me so much trouble, because I don't have, like, unresponsive buttons like the rest of the way, generally. I do have a problem with the up jump with my D-pad, obviously, not pushing back towards the wall. It just wants to do outward diagonal jumps, which is fine in between walls, but when you're out trying to climb up something, it can be really fuck troublesome bullshit. Oh man! And then once you get that blood or whatever the hell pattern down, the red stuff on the wall, you can just use it as a marker. They get, they thought of everything. But see, there's no time. If you you can't, you have to do it that way. Fucking motherfucker! Uh, does this button even work? Yeah. Okay. Err. Mm. Oh. Plop. Plop. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm. Must focus. That's the wrong way. Mm. Back on track. Yes. That left jump, leftist jump on the bottom is the test. Does that mean this run can even be viable? Because you gotta hook that shit before you land in that salty bullshit. Whoosh. No. 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 Mm. No. There's no time. That le no. Mm. Okay. Ugh, there's just splat. Plop. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's cool. Let's just lose the parts we've got down already. Ah! Does this button even work? Yeah. Bounce. Bounce. It does work. The button clearly works. I can push other buttons while I'm pushing it, and it still works. But not if I'm touching that fucking wall. Right here. Fall down. No. All good. Boom. And I don't want to give the wrong idea about that first level. It took some time to work it out. I just... I'm doing... I've been working at this. I'm, I'm not good at platforming historically. Uh... Jesus. Fuck. Okay. See, he's kind of slow, actually, if you just run right past him. If you let him go, he, he keeps his lead. I think. I don't care. Ugh. Okay, no. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Uh, maybe still. Fuck! Okay. No. <sighs> but. Mm. Standard wired Xbox 360 controller. Betraying me left and right here. Fuck you. Oh man, they got this salt everywhere. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm Little, ah, uh, Early, really? Impatient? You f impatient fucking... Eh? Okay. Yeah, hesitate if you need to. Take a fucking second, man! 
Just take a second if you... Oh, mother. It's just this shattered nerve mode going on here. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Boom. Bounce. Bouncing. This is a straight line. It's a straight away. Whoosh. Okay, that's better to... Oh, fuck. If I hadn't hit that start button. Oh, uh, we'll talk about breaking your train of thought. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Um, alright. Oosh, oosh, back on track. God damn it. Really? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, eep. Okay. Oof. Eh, eh, eh. Ah! Okay, keep it together here, mister. This is, I can, I can totally do this. Oh. It's, uh, right as I was going to say, it was slick. That was slick for a second. Shit. Okay. Because, I mean, okay, yeah, it's masochistic as fuck, but I mean, part of the fun here is the freedom of the controls. They are super responsive, even if, like, not there, but otherwise, they're super responsive. It makes perfect sense. You go where you're supposed to go most of the time. I mean, there's a little bit of D-pad obviousness, but... Oh, no! But, uh, if it's... It's rewarding. And it's not like... Ooh, I beat the troll game rewarding. There's actually... I mean, well, not the troll games aren't well designed, but this is like fucking designed. Like, eh, this guy is such a fucking nerd. It's, it's amazing. Like, it's the best use of like a nerd nerdery background that I can think of. It's just this home run after home run. Does this button even fucking work? Yeah. Alright, so you get a little head start, but fuck that. Oh, yeah, because there's a, there's a big... There's so many subtleties in just the up, right, down, left uh, diagonals, plus the jump and run fast button. There's so much shit going on. Oh, bullshit. Okay. A lot of processing, that kind of fun stuff. I mean, it's all reflex after a while, but it takes a really long time to get the reflexes in place. And this kind of game is kind of a dick. It, it doesn't care. It's just sort of like, oh, I see you've gotten used to that. Well, here, do it on top of a pile of fucking needles. I mean, there's literally half the game is designed that way. It's the dark world. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's cruel. You could you could say it was kind of cruel. <laughs> uh, seriously though, we're wrapping it up here. I'm gonna get it pretty soon. Ah. Okay. Salt. Stay frosty. Got trip. The salt is bad, not the meat. Launch over it. No. Ah. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Frostier than this. Ah. All right. No. It really makes you doubt the capabilities of USB. Does the button work? Clearly the button works. So why doesn't the button work? Fucking up into the right. See? So, whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know. I mean, I have no beef with this <laughs> whatsoever, but that is just mind-blowing. Oh, my God. Obviously, the game is not designed to have that controlled 
anomaly that's the controller or me. Just to be clear. Ah. Whoosh. Fuck. 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 Come on. Jesus, this is honest. Just so everybody knows, this is this is a thirty-second race. We're fifteen minutes in. I appreciate your patience. Um, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Jesus. Beautiful. Oh my God. Well, anyway, my hands hurt, so I can only do this so much at a time. So, you know, so much for, so much for Brownie, my good buddy here. Decided to hang on to that dangling piece of shit. Oh, who throws bricks at pieces of shit anyway? Oh, this guy. What an asshole. Oh, ow. Oh. Every boss in the game gets the shit kicked out of him like this one way or another. He, like, works it in with every one of them. They all just get beat the fuck. And then I think they fall down and then go into Binding of Isaac, honestly. Uh, everything that's mutilated ends up in that game. Man. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail at Super Meat Boy's Brownie Race. Uh, this is Assault Factory World's boss. And that's how you do it uh, if you want to do it wrong. Um, I recommend taking the 30-second method. Again, uh, thanks for spending some time with me for that 30-second... Chapter complete! <laughs> for that 30-second race. <laughs> oh, Jesus.